welcome back to another video on precision farming and today i am going to go through how to customize precision farming to deal with some of the things that i find quite annoying and i think other people do as well and have a look at four things two of them fall in that first category the other two are maybe things you know depending on how you play the scale of farming you play and stuff might be useful so the first one we're going to have a look at is starting ph this is one of the things that really annoys me um quite often you start a map in august the fields you buy or own are full of crops that are ready to harvest are almost or almost ready to harvest and the ph is okay well yeah so i've, I've just brought these fields um and ph is it's okay it's not as good as you might want uh this field ph is bad um so ph bad ph bad um, and you will also notice that nitrogen is bad um and that is pretty common as well you know you load the map up you've got no nitrogen in the fields and the lime is bad not very good and if you fields are full of crops already you might not want to throw lime on fully almost fully grown crops you know some of those are ready to harvest so you can't put lime or fertilizer on them anyway um so we're going to have a look at that the other things we're going to have a look at are changing the amount of lime you need to use when you are applying it and also changing the amount of fertilizer that you need to use when you're applying that so all of that is going to be done in notepad plus plus so let's quit out of the game and have a look at what we need to change so you'll need to go to your mods directory if you can't find your mods directory you probably shouldn't be doing this and you will also want 7zip and notepad plus um, plus and we are going to go to precision farming we are going to right click on precision farming select 7zip and open archive and then we are going to open up precision farming.xml in notepad plus plus which as you would expect has opened up on my other screen so we'll just scroll that across um and we will tackle those first two things that i mentioned in one go so we will look at the starting ph of the field and the starting nitrogen level so let's scroll down and you will find for the starting lime for each soil type we have the optimal value and then we have the range of starting values i have found that you need to give this four numbers to work um, you can either set them to all be the optimal value depending on how you want to do things or what i have done is i set them to be either one below or the optimal value and if you do two of each you've got a 50 50 chance that your line will be slightly low or perfect um, you could even go so that it could be slightly high um, up to you on how you want to set things up really um, i'm just going to do it this way uh, just really so that i can show you um, that it has worked so i'm going to do two on one below two on the optimal so the optimal value is shown here um, this is only going to take effect on a new save uh, so this is really stuff for you to set up when you are doing a new save i'm not sure if it works when you're buying a new field i'm assuming that precision farming sorts the whole map out from the start so really these starting ones are things for new saves the uh the lime and nitrogen usage that i will show you afterwards will apply to an existing save so that's the lime done um we'll go down and look at the nitrogen now so if we scroll down and we will find something very similar there we go so we've got initial values um for the different soil types and you'll see that again they are really low um about the only crop that you're going to be okay with is soybeans or something like that that doesn't require nitrogen so um 
depending on what crops you've got in the ground or you think you might have in the ground, you can choose how you want to set this up. I am going to go for 95 on the minimum, not 910. And then we'll just go for um, just some kind of steps beyond that. And this will be nice and obvious in the fields. So we will then save that with Control S, close it, and then we want to update the archive, and then I will see you back in the game. So I have re, well, I've reopened the game. It's a fresh save, obviously, because we want it to apply. I've brought the same fields, and we've brought the uh, the soil data, and you can see that we now have um, good pH or perfect pH, depending on where we are in the field. I say it's a 50 50 chance as to whether you got one below or perfect um, and you can also see that our fields now have a lot more nitrogen in them so uh now we're up at 120 130 we actually have perfect nitrogen for our sunflowers um our potatoes are good straight out of loading the game um the uh canola is a little low because that needs a lot of nitrogen you know you're playing the balance of you don't want to over fertilize some of your other crops so this is just to, yeah if you want to go into a bit more detail you could have a look and pick a really perfect number but this is just showing you how to change those to get them to take effect in the game the next one we're going to have a look at is um, lime usage and nitrogen usage so uh I'm just going to set a few things up to uh, demonstrate some stuff and I will be back. Okay, so we are back in Precision Farming and I have reset back to the default version of Precision Farming because I wanted to get some soil that needed some lime and some nitrogen. So we've got two fields here. What I'm going to do is lime one of them and fertilize the other. They both have harvested wheat in them. Um, and then we'll repeat it once we've made some changes. Uh, so, just gonna see how much lime we use, how much fertilizer we use to get both of these to perfect values. Um, so only one part, two passes with the lime spreader, one pass with the fertilizer spreader. So the amounts we use are not going to be massive, um, but it'll just give us an idea, just so you can see that it's having an effect really. It's not to establish any kind of scientific testing, it's just to show that what the changes I'm going to show you do actually work. So if we get to the end of this field, we've used about a thousand litres of lime. I think I think we started with 19,000. Anyway, I will make a note of what we have left in the spreader and then we have um, some fertiliser in the Kubota and it's going to do automatic application to get to the perfect level for wheat and then again we'll just do a uh, we'll do the whole field which is a single pass i have picked these small fields for a reason just to make it easier um, and yet we'll then go and make some changes and we'll see what effect we have so there we go so we've got 2980 liters left so I will make a note of those and I will see you back in our mods folder. As before, we are in the mods folder. We're going to right click on precision farming, use 7-zip to open the archive and wow, that view has got annoying. Uh, so we want to then double click on precision farming, .xml to open it in Notepad++. Um, so same file as we were editing before. And what we're going to do is scroll down through the lime bit and lime usage per state is the number we want to change. It is 730, so 730 liters per hectare to increase the, night, the lime or the pH by 0.125. We are going to change that to 105. Random small number that I have picked. Um, I found it's very useful to keep the numbers in the same sort of style as for what's there already. Um, so then we will scroll down to the nitrogen. 
past all the crop level values and we will get to the point where there we are so fertilizer usage this defines the percentage nitrogen in the fertilizer that you're using um, so solid fert is 27 percent nitrogen liquid fertilizer is 39 percent nitrogen and then we've got manure slurry and digestate and we're using solid fertilizer and what we're going to do is increase that to 90 percent nitrogen we're basically putting almost pure powdered nitrogen on the field so we're going to save that again we will close it and we will update the archive and i will see you back in the game okay i have reloaded the same save game as we were just in so before i did any of the work i saved it and then we just quit straight out of it uh, so we will get the uh, the gps running and off we go and we will see how much lime we use this time so when we finished before we finished up with eighteen thousand and twenty three liters left in the spreader see what we end up with when we finish this massive field this kind of thing is probably more useful if you know, if you're doing a really large scale farming you can spend half your life applying things like lime and this will make it easier because you're going to use a lot less so you don't have to keep going backwards and forwards to refill which i know can get frustrating if you're doing large scale farming and there we go so we have now 800 and 18,816 litres left so we've used significantly less lime and you could cover a lot of area with this lime spreader and if you combined it with my video on the best lime spreader in spreader wars you would probably never have to refill ever again so that's lime usage if we then jump into the Kubota and we'll see how we do with fertilizer usage i mean we really didn't use very much before um, but if i switch it on you'll see if you look in fact i'm going to pause it and i'm not going to pause it because i've got pro shot on if you look in the top left hand corner you'll see that our nitrogen is now 90 percent nitrogen rather than the 27 it was before um, and when we get to the end of the run so when we finished last time we were on 2980 we're now on 3136 so again we have used a lot less than we did before um, and yeah you could change that for all of them if you want or you know if you wanted to suggest you were making some particularly potent manure one year you could tweak it a bit it's up to you um i'm just providing you the tools it's up to you how you use them uh, so if you found this tutorial useful please click the like button leave me a comment if you've got questions stick a comment below if you're not already subscribed to the channel i'm also going to say thank you to the patrons and the youtube channel members i really appreciate your support um and i have a few other things that i have found for customizing precision farming so if you want to see more on that then again comment below and i will make another video but that's it for today, so thanks for watching folks, and I will catch you next time.